Massimo Torricelli, Michelle Moroni, observes a stunning woman on a beach following a gathering of the Torricelli Sicilian Mafia criminal family and black market sellers. Suddenly Massimo and his father, the head of the Sicilian Mafia family, are both shot and killed in an instant. Five years later, Massimo has assumed control of the Torricelli criminal family and has become a brutal and cruel boss. Meanwhile a feisty brunette businesswoman named Laura Beale, Anna Maria Siklaka, is dissatisfied with her partner Martin in Warsaw because he rejects her when she attempts to start sex. Laura then goes to her room where she pleasure herself, at same time Massimo is having oral sex with hostess in his private plane. Laura spends her 29th birthday with friends in Italy, while they are having fun, Martin humiliates her, by forgetting about her and giving her a card as gift, she goes for a stroll and meets Massimo, who unexpectedly kidnaps her. Laura wakes up, in big bedroom and when she tried to knock on the door nobody responds to her. After a while someone unlocked the door for her, she gets out the room and immediately find a massive painting of her in the wall and Massimo right behind her, she pass out, and when she wakes up, she asks him who he was and why she was there, Massimo reveals to Laura that she was the woman at the beach five years ago and that when he was injured, all he could think about was her. After searching for years and finally spotting her at the airport, he had to have her and intends to keep her as a prisoner for 365 days, one year, until she falls in love with him, promising a life of endless luxury. When she tries to escape, he threatens her family, and shows her photographs of Martin's infidelity, and tells her a breakup letter was delivered to Martin on her behalf. He reassures her that he will not touch her without her consent, as he touches her without her consent. With no means of escaping, Laura gives in. After he finish with Laura, Massimo goes to a secret room where he has kidnapped a men who have been stealing from him. Laura try to escape but she run into Massimo, and his people torturing the guy, she pass out and when she wakes up Massimo explain to her that the guy deserve it. And he told her that she will go with him, when she said no he forcefully took her, they go for shopping. There she try to escape and tell some guards she see about being kidnapped, but they walk away when they see Massimo. Over the next two months as they spend more time together, a vengeful and angry Laura provokes him by wearing lingerie and revealing dresses. What's waiting for me? You will know. He warned her to not provoke him, because he only know getting thing by force. The next day Massimo and his men forcefully took Laura to the private plan, they are heading to Rome for business meeting. At a hotel in Rome, she teases him again and he cuffs her to the bed. She is forced to watch Massimo receive oral sex from another woman. Afterward, he caresses Laura's body and she appears to be giving in. However, he stops, releases her, and orders her to get dressed for a club. At the club, Laura flaunts herself for Massimo and his friends, angering him. When she begins to flirt with a man from the rival Mafia family, the man gropes her against her will. Massimo and the others draw their weapons while Laura is taken out of the club. The following morning, Laura awakens on a yacht to Massimo and his fellow mafioso, Mario, arguing. During the night, Massimo shot the man's hand, who had groped Laura, inciting a mafia war between the two families. Mario insists that Massimo has to get rid of Laura, but he refuses. Laura attempts to apologize, but Massimo blames her for the incident. As they argue, Laura falls into the water and completely panics and thinks she's going to die by drowning, which affects her heart condition. Then Massimo jumps in to save her. When she awakens, he admits he was scared she might not make it and does not want to lose her. At that moment she falls in love with him as a montage illustrates by the various sex scenes on the yacht. He then told her they are going to a fancy party, she then rushed to start getting rid for the party. At the party Massimo asks Laura to dance with him, they have beautiful intimate days and they kiss at the end. Then a woman walks up to them, and introduce herself as the first and the true love of Massimo, she tell Massimo she will kill Laura and take away the precious thing in his life and walks away. Massimo allows Laura to visit her family in Warsaw.
he tells her he loves her and will join her after finishing up business. In Warsaw, Laura waits for Massimo for days with no contact. She reconnects with her best friend Olga and they go clubbing. She runs into Martin, who says he has been looking for her to apologize and explain the photographs. He attempts to convince her to reconcile and follows her back to her apartment, where Massimo is unexpectedly waiting. He tells Martin to go. Angry at being abandoned, Laura slaps Massimo. While having sex, she opens his shirt to see wounds from the Mafia War. She confesses to him that she loves him. The following morning, Massimo proposes and she accepts. However, she asks him to keep his occupation a secret from her parents. Back One day, Laura mentions feeling unwell but brushes off seeing a doctor. They discuss their upcoming wedding that her family is not allowed to attend, as she does not want them to discover what Massimo does. However, Massimo allows Olga to come as Laura's bridesmaid. When Olga visits, Laura reveals she is pregnant. Olga urges her to tell Massimo about the pregnancy. Meanwhile, Mario receives a phone call from a Torricelli informant that the rival Mafia family is about to kill Laura. Laura's car enters a tunnel but does not come out the other side. Mario rushes to find Massimo just as Laura's call suddenly ends. Realizing the implications, Massimo breaks down as a police car blares at the entrance of the tunnel. Please subscribe for more movie.